Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon. So be sure to text READY TO BUY, that's READY TO BUY, to the number on the screen. Starting pricing for low-end software $100 and starting pricing for high-end software $500. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal's buyer's protection guarantee. So our brother, Dr. Umar, um, who really, <laughs> I swear I have no problem with him other than the whole school thing. You know what I mean? Um, and the way he acted like, you know, he couldn't use any help when he came on my show, you know, um, but listen, Dr. Umar says a lot of good stuff. Um, and I think his heart is in the right place with a lot of things. Um, but with the school, he may be over his head. I hope it opens someday, but I don't know. Anyway, Dr. Umar had recently posed in a video that I saw um, that my man Greg sent to me. Shout out to you, Greg. Um Where basically Dr. Umar asks, in 50 years, what has hip hop achieved for the community? Like, what has it done positively to affect change in the black community? And he gave examples of, you know, organizations like the Panthers that I guess did well they did they yeah they 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 did works breakfast programs and all that and really their existence was about five years you know the the, the height of their existence um he talked about Martin Luther King you know maybe had about 11 years of you know what we the work that he did was about 11 years worth um and and i think it's a good question i think it's a good question to pose um because you know hip-hop has done a lot of negative <laughs> shit. If we really keep it real, I mean, we had hip hop had its moments of positivity. Um, but it seemed like all of that was strategically diverted. So, other than making a few individuals um quote unquote rich what has hip hop done in 50 years for the community as a whole. Okay. Thank you, Jamar Milton. Shout out my brother Jamar. He said, the main thing I can say hip hop definitely contribute to was keeping a lot of bad people out of trouble and providing jobs for a few. Yes, I definitely agree with that. Um, hip hop initially, and even still for some, it 
it gave an alternative that didn't exist before. It gave you an alternative to say, I can be popular, as popular as a drug dealer. I can have money like a drug dealer. I can, you know what I mean? Jewelry, girls, all of that. But I don't have to commit a crime. I don't have to risk my life um, to acquire these things. So for certain people, especially someone like myself, that was appealing. That seemed more intelligent than trying to be the biggest drug dealer or some shit like that and, and pretty much knowing where that ultimately leads you, which is either dead or in jail. Um, but as a whole, you know, yeah, I don't know how many, you know, as a whole, well, listen, now that I think about it, it's not like everybody ate at those Panther lunch programs. But then again, they created lunch programs in schools because of the Panther lunch program to try to uh, basically shit on their lunch program and take control of the shit. So the schools started introducing lunch programs because of what the Panthers did. Um, hmm. I mean, hip hop has definitely inspired certain people to believe that they can make money like and become a millionaire. And now you got certain rappers that are making people believe they be, can become billionaires. You know, is that belief a good thing or a bad thing? I think it all depends. It can be both. It could be both depending on who we're talking about. Because how many rap billionaires are there? You can count them on one hand if it's true what they say um so how many of us would really be really become billionaires from getting in a rap gang and how long would it take you because most of these rap billionaires been in this shit for like more than 20 years <laughs> just to fucking put it in perspective um But yeah, I need y'all to like give me some um some positive things that hip hop has done to add on to the communities, to add on to our community. Right, no grocery stores, no hospitals, no schools. Um We don't even have uh, like a hip hop union or insurance. And I mean a hip hop union, not the fucking SAG, AFTRA and all of that type of shit. I'm talking about something that really is specifically for us. You know what I mean? Healthcare and all that type of shit. Like something that we could have started, that the hip hop community could have started. Um, Danny said another Jamar. Yeah, that's Jamar with two A's. 
that's the that's the brother though. That's the homie. It's the young homie. Um. Yeah, I know there was positivity in the eighties and the nineties. Truth hurts. Um. Yeah, there was more positivity, but at the same time, I don't think that positivity was allowed to take its natural course, which maybe would have developed into certain things like schools and hospitals or, you know what I mean? At the very least, bookstores or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Because if they would have let us be in power and all that type of shit back then, that's probably the type of shit. You know what I mean? It's probably the type of shit I would have did. Open a fucking... Fucking health food store, fucking bookstore, some shit like that. Chain of them. They didn't want to let us get in power. Ha uh ha, -huh, Danny. Yes, is someone snoring? Yeah, that's big boy in the back. Big boy is in the back snoring. Truly Zambian said people could speak about their anger about their reality without having to speak in the manner that society deemed acceptable or correct. You could be angry, you could use incorrect grammar, etc. Yeah. So hip hop gave a voice to the voiceless. Um It allowed young black males, especially, to express themselves in a way that we weren't able to do before. That's a positive. Um, it gave us a certain self-esteem. Um, that was something that was being built up in the 60s and 70s and it seemed like hip hop was almost the culmination of that in a way um what else has hip hop done Um, hip hop has showed just, just the world how, um, especially original people, black people can take almost anything and just make it ours like give it a certain flair that nobody else would be able to do on their own without us um providing the example and the blueprint of shit that we just pull out of the fucking ether um Yeah, come on, help me, y'all. <laughs> Give me some fucking positive shit. That hip hop is done. Because it's a great question. It's a great question.
because I don't necessarily think um, hip hop being commercialized and all of that is like positive and something that was helpful to the community. You got hip hop in every kind of ad now and all of that, but it's not like that money. These hip hop ads, the money goes back into our community to help build anything up or, you know. So what the fuck? And you got a lot of <clears throat> artists who, when they make their money in hip hop, there's no real, um, there's no real attempt at making any community change other than like giving out turkeys on Thanksgiving or giving out, you know, bikes and some toys and shit at Christmas and shit like that. Um, there's no serious attempt at, at um, any community type of building, basically. Um, and that's a shame. You know, and I think uh, Dr. Umar's question um, is is a question that says to us, "Listen, man, we <laughs> there's a lot more we could have done, a lot more we should be doing, and a lot more we need to get done." But now it's ironic. You know what I mean? That the brother, Dr. Umar, would say, hey, what is hip-hop built? Y'all ain't built no schools. Y'all ain't built no hospital. Brother. 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 We still waiting for your school, sir. We're still waiting for your school, sir. And if you still would like help, uh, the Trey Whitfield School, uh, is still in effect. If you need any help on how to make this happen, just to call away, brother, just to call away. Um... Yeah, Nas got something, um, the Paid in Full Foundation, which is kind of like a healthcare type of thing, I guess. It's trying to help some of the original pioneers with financial aid and healthcare. So, that's dope. But shit, that shit just came in the 50th year, like, and I don't even think it's fully crystallized. You know what I mean? Truly Zambian said the problem at its core was that hip hop wasn't owned or controlled by the people who gave birth to it. Factorino. Factorino. I mean, from the very beginning, it seems like even the independent labels that started out like they weren't all black owned maybe sylvia roan shit was you know she was not sylvia roan i'm sorry sylvia robinson um her shit was you know that was black owned but i believe some of these other joints that was out there enjoy and some of those i forget some of the earlier ones but they wasn't they wasn't black owned White people, white people been in on this exploiting hip hop shit from the minute that these wax started getting pressed up. We controlled it when it was just, you know what I mean, around the way. And it was cassettes and all that type of shit. Once, it's, once it got to records and on the radio and all that type of shit, it was right when it went out of our hands. 
So we celebrate, you know, Sugar Hill Gang and all that type of shit, but that almost marks the beginning of the bullshit. That was the first record to go gold or platinum or whatever the case, right? First rap record. That was the beginning of the bullshit. And you look at Sugar Hill now, but they went gold and platinum, but I feel like they, uh, they're not living like no platinum artists. These guys got to still get out there and do shows. And, you know what I mean? I seen one of the brothers, they wheeled the brothers out there in, in like a wheelchair type of shit. I said, God damn. I don't think the brother should have to perform anymore if, you, if you're in a wheelchair. Okay, yes, that's right. Come with it, truly, Zambia. Hip-hop gave so many people a creative outlet which spawned so much more, not just music, but fashion, movies, TV, etc. Even sports was a fluid to move a certain way due to hip-hop's influence. Now, that's definitely true. I say hip-hop enriched the world with its style, with its panache with its je ne sais quoi um yeah hip-hop definitely enriched the world and inspired many different genres just like i was saying to carl earlier like like it was very hip-hop of him to the way he moved, the way he uh, put his shows together and all of that. It's like hip hop was in his blood. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and yeah, I, I, I like I told him, I, I, I feel that, 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 that thread all through his work. And one of the threads is hip hop that, runs through all his work comedy is another thread animation is a thread um black people of course is a thread in his work but definitely hip-hop style hip-hop language hip-hop aesthetics um so yes uh you know some of the some of the best things about hip hop may be things that you can't necessarily touch. You understand? They might not be um, institutions, Doctor Umar. Um, hip hop has left a legacy of a certain le legacy of confidence for the black man, especially, that wasn't there prior to hip-hop or wasn't being expressed prior to hip-hop. Now it's been co-opted and, and steered down a criminal type of um, lane. But the essence of it is rebellion. You know, the essence of hip hop is rebellion against uh, the powers that be, against the ones who are trying to hold down the black man. Um, and that despite that, we still gonna rise. Um, Those are those are things that you can't that you can't put your finger on necessarily 
in a physical manner, but at the same time are super valuable. Um, yeah. I think you helped me answer the question, people. I guess the next question would be, um, do the negatives outweigh the positives? Oh, you want to hear on the lack of community progress, but that's because those things like turkey drives are individual initiatives. We can't do anything as collective because we don't own it. Yeah. Well, even if we don't own it, though, we still could come together as individuals to create a collective and take the proceeds from something that we don't necessarily own, the proceeds we receive towards doing something else. Um, it's possible if our mind state was there, but we're just not in that type of mind state. Listen, we went from having mad groups in the beginning of hip hop to now, nowadays groups are rare. It's all about solo artists. You see, cause it's, it's not about community. They don't want the community to flourish. That's why they break up groups all the time and shit like that. They don't want to show black people working together and, 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 and doing something that works. They want you to be like, you know what? Fuck that. Go by yourself. You can get more money that way. You know what I mean? You can get more money if you go solo. Now, you won't promote uh, community, uh, you know, communal working together and all that type of shit, but you'll make more money. You know what I mean? So this is, in the beginning, some of your greatest hip-hop came from groups. And now fast forward, how many groups are out there? Migos, you know what I mean? A locks, which is, you know, not a new group. Not a lot of groups out there. It's, it's solo artists. Little this, little that, trippy red, fucking Meg the Stallion, fucking, you know what I mean? So when they got you on that individual mindset all the time, why would you now come together with your community or other, or come together with other individuals to do something communal? You're not going to do it. Like, what's the incentive to do it? You know what I mean? What's the incentive to do it? I'm not taking no damn digs at Umar. I'm just trying to answer. I'm not getting on him. I'm dead ass want to know the question. You know what I mean? This is a good fucking question that he asked. And we're coming up with good answers right now. Right? The fuck? Why does got to be some sort of battle between me and Umar? I'm not fucking here to fucking fight with, with Umar and shit. But he did fucking, you know, put a, pose a good question. And in this 50th year... I think this is a good channel to discuss something like this. I actually wish Digger was here for this right now. Oh, hang on. Congratulations, Rod Digger. Godfrey! Not Godfrey. Digger, Digger. First name, Rod Shia. There we go. Um, congratulations to Digger. Uh, she just got married to her fiance, Troy. Um, on the Rock the Bells cruise. Um, and I think there's going to be footage of that. I think it's going to be an episode and all of that type of shit. But yeah, it was dope. I wasn't there, but Big Daddy Kane was, was the official. He's the one that married them. And yeah, the shit looked dope. Congratulations, Digger Digger. Uh, congratulations, Troy. We love y'all. And uh, I know you're having another ceremony in Jersey, and we'll see y'all then. All right. Um,
Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let that question marinate. And let's just think about it. Is there more, is there more pros than cons when it comes to the effects that hip hop has had on our um community? Has it done more harm than good? Um, let me know in the comments.